In this video, I'll show you how to add subtitles and closed captions to your videos in WordPress 5.6 and beyond. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my video content and you get value from this content, kindly consider subscribing. Let's just first of all start off by uh, putting out a note. I already have the video and the subtitles for this particular project available. So here they are, there is the video. Uh, and here are the subtitles. And I have a bunch of subtitles, a VTT subtitle, an SRT subtitle, and another VTT subtitle. Now, the reason why I made that clear is because it's only possible to upload a VTT subtitle into the player that ships uh, inside uh, WordPress 5.6. So that's out of the way. Uh, so yeah, as I've mentioned, this is something that has come uh, with accessibility. So if you want, to improve on your SEO, especially if you do a lot of videos, then this is something that is going to be beneficial to you and your uh, particular blog or website. So how do you do it? Let's begin uh, by creating just a new post uh, so that we can add the bunch of content that we want to add to our video. So uh, let's say a title, how to add captions to your video in WordPress 5.6. So that's good. So, and then just do a simple line. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add, and it's already prepared web VTT subtitles to a video uh, in WordPress uh, 5.6. So uh, that's just a basic uh, intro. And then let's just uh, let's just add a new block. Uh, and the a new block that we add, uh, let's say we want to add our video. So I might just type out media and then click on video. Let's click on that and then we can click upload and then navigate to the folder uh, with uh, the media we want to uh, upload. So here we go. Here's the video. Just click on it and it's uploading. Uh, and basically uh, what has happened in WordPress 5.6 is that accessibility has been greatly improved. So here's our video. And there are a bunch of options uh, that we can work with. But uh, what I need us to focus on is the text tracks. And when I click on this, you'll see that the text tracks uh, can be subtitles, captions, chapters, or descriptions. They can make your content more accessible to a wider range of users. Now, why this is important is because you may need to add a video to your content that is specific for uh, people that want to just see it on that particular uh, web page. The only downside to doing all this is that each video that you add to your WordPress blog, uh, and it doesn't matter whether you're using uh, a very fast hosting or the cheapest hosting or what, it may or may not affect the speed. But most of the times, due to the size of the videos, it will affect the speed of your website. So you may need to use a content delivery network like Cloudflare to host your videos and everything in between. So that's out of the way. Now, once we have the text tracks open, we can open media library if we have our tracks or the subtitles available. But since uh, they're not available inside our media library, let's just click on upload and we'll navigate to the folder with the web VTT file. You can select all files. So we have our video uh, and this is the web VTT or I can just do the, the details and uh, we I have two uh, web VTT subtitles. So this one is in Arabic and this is an SRT or a subrib subtitle file. And then we have another web VTT. This is in English. So we can begin with this and click on open and we can just give it a label. Uh, CC, let's just call it CC English. And then we write the source language EN and then we can call it can just call it captions and then click on close. 
So this is available and you can always edit. If you want to add some more, uh, let's say you want, uh, it's a video that is being watched by people from different places around the world and they speak different languages and you've already made the transcriptions and the translations for the subtitles, you just click on upload. And then navigate to the folder with the web VTT or the VTT file. And for this purpose, uh, we go for the Arabic file and just click on open. And if you have an SRT subtitle file and you don't know how to convert it into a web VTT file, I have a video in the card above that can help you sort that out. So let's just call this Arabic and then go to AR and then just uh, set it as subtitles and then click on close. So we already have two text tracks available. That's good. Since we're satisfied with that, let's just click outside. Our subtitles have been added, but now I'd like us to review and see if this is what is uh, available for us. Let's just click on preview. And then we have the option to preview on a desktop, tablet or mobile. Let's say we want to preview on a desktop and then I'll just uh, click on preview in new tab and it's going to generate the preview for us. And once it generates the preview, uh, let's see how it looks like. So there's our video. And if I play the video, with the recent up, uh, the one thing that I can do is go to the end, just click on the three vertical dots. Once I click on that, you can download the video. You can have uh, this particular video as a picture in picture, or you can also turn the captions on or off. Let's just click on that. And we have uh, the option to turn on the English version and we can do that or the Arabic one or any other caption tracks that you will have on here. Let's just click on the CC English and there we have it, it starts appearing. So if you play the video, it on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David. Now, that's awesome for us to do inside WordPress. We can just go back to the start and then change uh, the subtitle to Arabic and then click on play. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube. Now, that's awesome. It also recognizes it's uh, a right to left language. So it brings the punctuations to the left and starts from the right. That's awesome. So basically, this video was just to introduce you to adding subtitles and captions to videos on your WordPress uh, website or blog using the blog editor. It is awesome to finally have this. And I hope that it's going to get more use from the community and everybody at large. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that it has been of value to you. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching.